Hi, I'm Lindsay Gunderson of CCTV News, ICS and City Weekend TV, here today to interview the award-winning Canadian film director, Mr. Len Rosen. Now, while he's based in Hollywood, California, he's right here in Shanghai to film his full-length feature movie, Xiao Huang Hua, which translates as Little Yellow Flower. Now, the story traces a young and innocent Chinese girl from the country who's lured into the big city with big hopes and dreams, only to encounter her very worst fears. So how will she overcome these challenges and turn her life round for the better? All will be revealed. But first, let's meet the man behind the magic of this movie, Mr. Len Rosen himself. Len, brilliant to have you here in Shanghai. Welcome. It's been fascinating talking to you a bit about behind the scenes gossip and some interesting facts about your new movie. First of all, though, I'm very intrigued to know how much budget did you have to work on this one? 2,000 US dollars. 2,000 US? Yes. You're joking, right? No, I'm not. Seriously? Wow. So that just covers lunch and dinner, I imagine. Nobody eats. Nobody eats on my film. No, right. <laughs> no I'm joking. <laughs> So how do you seriously create a good-looking movie for that price? It takes a lot of patience and a lot of passion because when you're doing the camera work, the editing, the post-production, I mean, you, I've got to think ahead of what's going to work, what's not going to work. There's a lot to take on, but I like doing that. I think every filmmaker should do that once in a while, like put themselves through this rugged, basic training. Whether I can get a big budget or not, even I can get a big budget, I like to do this once in a while because it really gives my creativity some exercise to bring something out, out of nothing. I think it's a great way to do it. So you like to suffer a bit, have yes. a bit of pain. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> and I believe you really can do that. In fact, I don't need to believe, we've seen it already uh, from your first film, which I believe was a similar budget, yes. around about. So that was Fallen Leaves, Golden Sky, and that won Best Screenplay in Monaco. So that says it all, and congratulations again on that. Fantastic work. I'm really intrigued to know more about the story, though. You're the first to say a story makes or breaks a film. How did you get the idea behind Xiao Huang Hua? Xiao Huang Hua, I wouldn't say it's not in any way a sequel of Fallen Leaves, Golden Sky, although the two movies share a common theme. Both characters are on a journey of life. Falling Leaves Golden Sky showed the journey of a little girl who was driven to the big city in a new life through tragedy. Whereas in Xiao Honghua, the character is brought into another environment through mere curiosity. And it's a full length feature, yeah. 90 minutes. How long does it take you to shoot? About three weeks. Uh, we have one more filming day to go, and then it's basically going into post. Well, we, me, going into a little studio, closing the door, and do not disturb. That that's post. Suffering again. <laughs> Suffering yeah. again. <laughs> <laughs> but and you know, at the same time, loving your ass. Love it. Love it. Love it to death. Love of it course. to death. I mean, you do have this reputation now for creating impressive films for very little. I can only imagine, by the way, what you would do with a higher budget. And I hope to see that soon. We look forward to seeing that soon. Do you get quite frustrated, though, by cynics, critics, etc., whatever you want to call them, who think you can only create a good movie with a big budget, big camera setups and cranes, people standing around all over the place, even though half of them aren't actually doing anything? <laughs> what are your thoughts about that? The whole secret to a film, the number one ingredient is the story. Without a, without, we don't give the writers enough credit. Without a good story, the entire film can collapse. That's what holds the entire film up. So if you have a movie which is just pure visual eye candy, but the story is weak, I mean, it, I don't care how big your budget is or how much eye candy you have, it's just, it's lacking. A, a great, it, it's empty, it's a shell. But if you have a great, great story, and even the eye candy is not as prominent, you can still get away with having a great film. The writers are incredibly important to a movie. Mm -hmm. And that's what, what I do. Because before you do anything, the story is, has to be you know, brought into the picture. And when you say eye candy, do you mean the actors, actresses, or the shots? <laughs> I don't know. It's, yeah. every, it's your individual, I guess, taste on that. But yeah, the, the visuals, mostly. The good thing is you're doing everything it would seem. There's a lot on your shoulders, but you have got a great producer by your side, which is Summer Shear. Summer, tell me, how did you get into the film industry? You know, I've been working with Leonard for years. 
We've been discussing about making films here in China, telling about Chinese stories. Luckily, we have an American partner with us, so we'll continue making films like this, telling stories to the worldwide audience. I think this is a great point that you guys have picked up on everyday Chinese life because you think most people know about that and it's not that interesting when actually there is. There's so much going on. I've spent a lot of time in China. I mean, there's a lot of joys, a lot of challenges here that people don't know about. We've seen the sort of cultural exotic films coming out of India that have been internationally celebrated, such as Slumdog Millionaire a while back, Life of Pi recently. No one has done that yet for China. And I'm really intrigued to see it, and I'm glad you guys are doing it. On that note, do you have any other scripts up your sleeve? I have lots of scripts up my sleeve. Mm -hmm. So I look forward to seeing more of them. Actually, if people want to know more about this film, you yourself, and your current projects and future endeavors, how can they find out more? You can go to www.lensmiracles.com. That's Lens Miracles, so Miracles of the Lens, and also My Miracles, and I'm Lens, so oh, that's how it, there. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, it's been a pleasure talking with you both today, and I really wish you the best of luck with the upcoming release of Xiao Huang Hua. Thank you very much. All the best. So thank you for joining me here today. I look forward to seeing you on ICS and the next episode of City Weekend TV. Take care.